And welcome back. Well, in only the span of three days, nearly 40,000 people will head to Walworth County to check out the Wisconsin Farm Technology Days. The agricultural show is one of the largest in the nation. It features the latest improvements in production, agriculture, and techno technological developments. And here now with more details are Jim Stoll and Rachel Crane. We're super excited to see you guys. Thank you so much for yes. being here. Thanks for having us. Yes, Never thank knew you. this was something um, that happens in our state. You mm -hmm. travel to different communities every year, which is exciting so that people all over the state get to get, get to know about what you do. So tell us about um, Farm Technology Days and what you do and what people can see and experience. Well, the Farm Technology Days started back in the 50s, so it's been around a long time. It's covered a lot of the states. Uh, our Walworth County show is the farthest south we've ever been and the first time in the Walworth Racine Kenosha area. Awesome. So we're excited to have the show down there. There is a state board that kind of oversees the overall operation, but it's turned over to our local committee to, to run the show. Mm -hmm. And I'm chairman of the executive committee and Rachel's one of the members of the executive committee. Well, and hearing that you're going to have over 40,000 people in three days, how long does it take to plan something like this? Ironically enough, the executive committee changes every year. No way! Wow. Jim and I started with this three years ago. Um, so it's a three-year commitment. You plan, okay. plan, plan for three years for three days. Wow. No way. That's so incredible. Mm -hmm. Next year it'll be an entirely different set of executive committee in Kiwani County. So in other words, there are already a group of people who are planning for three years down the road. It That's is. incredible. What a yeah. show that you put on. Talk about, too, um, the, the construction of Tent City yeah. and what that's all about. Well, that's kind of interesting. We take about a 70-acre hayfield, literally a hayfield with nothing on it, and we turn it into Tent City. And we turn into Tent City by doing a number of things. We have to wire it for electricity. We have to put internet service in. We provide phone service. We're going to have a portable cell tower out there that's going to be erected. So a lot of things happen. There are a number of buildings that get built on there for three days. Wow. And uh, there are four up as of yesterday. There are several coming up this week. They wreck the buildings and they take them down. But in addition, we have about 500 exhibitors or more, so we have to provide space for that many exhibitors as well. This is wow. so cool. I mean, just this rendering is beautiful. I mean, this is so gorgeous. This is real drone video, actually. Yes, oh, my gosh. From last year. That's fantastic. Okay, so how about the food? Because going to a, a farm technology days, I expect that some of the exhibitors are farmers or food or local fare. Well, we're really excited about the food this year. We have some special things coming up. Um, our food committee has done a great job with a local chef. We have pork bowls that are going to be offered, shepherd's pie that's going to be offered. Mm, I love that. Mm -hmm. And then it, it's Wisconsin. It wouldn't be Wisconsin without brats <laughs> and cheese curds. <laughs> so we'll have a different brat of the day um, as well. Oh, that's so cool. So different toppings kind of like or different flavoring? No, different brats. flavoring. Yes. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, do, you, do you feel like people who maybe don't have any background in farming or who don't know a whole lot about farming will still find the show interesting? Well, we hope so. We have a lot to offer for non-farmers. We have a big youth area for kids to come. They can actually touch and feel some things and see where their food comes from. We have family living area that Rachel's responsible for. We have uh, ongoing entertainment and speakers in there related to different topics in agriculture. Uh, and I think just the opportunity to get up and close and personal with a machine that you usually see uh, 100 feet away, mm -hmm. you can get up, touch it, see it, see how big they are, the technology involved. There's a lot to offer for everyone. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's such a great learning experience, I think, for kids and for grown ups alike who've always wanted to kind of play around, learn some more things. There's a working dairy farm. Um, on the plot that you're doing all this. So how will the dairy be featured? Is this, are you getting fresh milk? How's it working? <laughs> Not having fresh milk, but um, the host farm this year is the Snudden farm. Steve mm -hmm. Snudden um, has opened up his entire farm to the show. And uh, basically there'll be um, trams taking people up to the dairy operation to see milking, see the cows. Okay. So yeah, people get to see firsthand what a working dairy farm is like here in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. What about other special things featured at the show? Well, one of the really unique things, we're in the Lake Geneva area, and of course Lake mm -hmm. Geneva is known for Lake Geneva. And uh, we wanted to bring that into the show, so we've actually constructed a mini Lake Geneva on the site. When you walk in through what we call Innovation Square, uh, in the middle of that's on Lake Geneva. We've got, we'll have water in it. We're going to have RC boats and remote control boats and a lot of history about the agricultural things that happened around Lake Geneva. So it's really something we're excited about. Hope people enjoy it and, and want to get down to see it. Yeah, and if people aren't um, as mobile, maybe they can't walk quite as much or see all the grounds, are there ways to get around? Yes, we do have mobility carts available. Okay. We are telling people to go online. Um, it's wifarmtechnologydays.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can reserve your mobility cart online oh, that's at a nice. time. That's nice that you're making that mm -hmm. accessible to people. It's wonderful. This is great for urban people, city people too. Head on out to Farm Technology Days. How exciting that it's in um, Lake Geneva at Snudden Farms this year. It's July 19th, 20th, and 21st in Walworth County. Um, you can also go to WIF. So it's, it's 
WI for Wisconsin, farmtechnologydays.com. Wonderful to meet you guys. Thank you Thanks so much for, being for sharing here. with yeah. us. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Enjoyed yeah. it.